I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. And I'm Coach Victoria. And in this video, we're gonna be talking to you about breakup success stories have this in common. Listen up, this is an important one. You know what the this is? What? Coach Craig Kenneth. <laughs> Coach Victoria <laughs> and Coach Margaret. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. In no, in no part of this video shall we be talking about the handwritten letter, <laughs> a clean slate message, grand gesture, yeah, or ignoring your ex. <laughs> Before we get into it, I did want to say that Craig and I are available for coaching sessions. So if you would like to talk about your story one on one with one of us, you can do so by going to our website and booking from there. Absolutely. We'll be happy to help you. So you can have a success story for yourself, regardless of what happens with your ex. We always want you to feel much better and change your life after your breakup. So, what are the things that we do see? that have success stories? What are the things that people are doing versus not doing mm -hmm. to have a success story? What is going on with these situations that are in common, right? We're gonna talk about this today because we want you to be in a position where you can either re-attract re your ex or find somebody that truly makes you happy or be single. Right? And just feel confident yeah. in your, with yourself. Right. Sometimes we get success stories like that too, where they didn't yeah. get their ex back at all. I know you hate those success stories. I don't want that. <laughs> That's not a success. Because you are so you know focused on getting your ex back. But those are just as important. Yep. A success is a success. A win is a win. Oh, absolutely. Many of you will find out that your partner really wasn't gonna be, wouldn't be a good partner mm -hmm. for you in the long run. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So you have to think about yourself. You have to think about the long run here too. All right, one of the first things that we see that's a common thread in a lot of the success stories is the outlook on the breakup. Mm. Many of you have a negativistic outlook on the breakup. You are so focused on this breakup really you know, bringing up parts of you and thinking They're never that, coming back. Yeah. They never cared about me. Yeah. They never loved me. Yep. So focused on your ex being the only person yep. that can heal you. And that actually does not set you up for success. In fact, it sets you up in this very narrow minded way. Yeah. Where only they're going to make you happy. Right, right. Right. Where you're so dependent on their acceptance, validation, them getting back with you for you to be okay. And that's a very fickle place to be. Yep. And so outlook is the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. People who have success stories, they tend to share the similar outlook of confidence shifting from needing things to work out for you to be okay to wanting things to work out it would be nice if this relationship worked out yeah and there's a very clear difference between the two of those one really depends on your ex restoring this relationship for you to be able to feel safe and the other one is you being able to cultivate that safety for yourself and desire a relationship that adds to your life rather than is one that is the foundation of your life. Absolutely, it's mm -hmm. so important to look at it like that. And if you really start to look at things more closely, you're gonna see that the positive outlook and the negative outlook is probably gonna be correlated to what happened in your childhood and the adults, your caretakers meeting your needs, mm -hmm. right? Because that's really what a lot of it is about. Oh yeah. And we don't realize that. Mm -hmm. It really is about that belief that you are going to be okay no matter what. Mm -hmm. And if growing up you didn't have that feeling, if your parents didn't instill that feeling in you, then it's going to be really hard to muster that up now through the breakup. It's, yeah, it's very hard to believe your needs are going to be met when they weren't met in your childhood. Right, right. Another thread that I see is also a strong support system. Mm -hmm. For those of you who maybe didn't have stable families, you know, didn't have that support growing up, mm -hmm. many of you are able to have that in adulthood. And so in a breakup, 
you know, you might be really sad, but you know that you have friends, you have people who love you. And that makes a huge difference for many people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Another big one is that the people that are focused on personal growth rather than no contact videos and just getting their ex back videos. Mm -hmm. Listen, I understand the appeal of those videos and believe me, we have put the best content on the planet into those videos that we do, <laughs> but we don't want to do 1500 of the same video. We have like close to 2000 videos now and we're happy to talk about no contact and share that incredible insight into those videos, but we need to get you beyond that because if you're really going to turn things around for your life, you have to focus on healing your own attachment issues, your mental health, learning the skills to be a better partner. It's not just about lust. It's not just about obsessively getting back the object of your affection, okay? It has to be more than that in order to truly be a success story because, you know, that's just like this desperation mm -hmm. of I have to have this, own this person and have them back. Right. But that's not going to get true happiness there. The connection's got to be fun and playful and loving and caring and reciprocal, right. you know, and right. emotionally attuned to each other. And so when you're focused on learning all those things and things that you probably have never heard before, you're going to be a lot more likely to turn things around. I mean, the divorce rate is like 6,000%. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that much, but it's pretty high. It's almost 6,000. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be there in a couple of weeks, right? The divorce rate is insane. Mm. Most of you did not grow up in homes where your parents were together. And if they were together, they were probably fighting all the time mm. and not getting along very well. Mm -hmm. So it's time to look at that. Unless your childhood was perfect and there's no re room for improvement. I mean, and chances are, if there was, you wouldn't be in a breakup, <laughs> right? You got to take this as an opportunity to really reinvent yourself, learn, grow, heal, and focus on the things that you can control, not putting it all onto somebody who gets to decide what they're going to do with their life. Right. So obsess about the personal growth. Okay. If you do, the no contact becomes easy because it's not so much about are they online and offline today? You're watching their Facebook Messenger. They were on 19 times today. They must be talking to somebody else. Right. I'm dying. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Or their WhatsApp or their Instagram or their stories. And they're, they're posting. They're not posting. They're friending. They're blocking. They're unblocking. <laughs> right? We've heard it all a million yeah. times. I get it. I've been there. Mm -hmm. I know what that feels like. Sit down and watch the videos or do the workbooks, mm -hmm. or do the creative healing course, or get into therapy and process it and deal with those things. That is going to get you into a success story, regardless of what another person does. But if you spend four hours a day watching to see whether they're signing on and off Facebook mm -hmm. Messenger, right. which many of you are, let's be honest, yeah, that's a waste of time. Because how is it any different knowing that information a week later, a month later, six months later, as opposed to if you've done the work. Think mm -hmm. about it. And a success story, it's not just about getting your ex back. That's where it starts. A success story is about having that healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. And we're not in the business of manipulating your ex back into a bad situation. Mm -hmm. That's just not us. You're never going to see a video titled Dark Psychology <laughs> Tips on how to get ooh, your ex back. Ooh, I'm going to start writing that one up tonight. <laughs> you're just not going to hear that. <laughs> no, I'm <this>. doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. doing it. <laughs> I'm up late. I'm gonna upload a short tomorrow. <laughs> Dark psychology tips. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's just not the the business that we're in. You know, we try to promote healthy relationships, ones that will be lasting, that will be satisfying, fulfilling, etc. And so that's what we want for you. The people who have success stories, they are able to focus on those patterns for making relationships right, for making them work well, for treating their partner with respect. Mm -hmm. So those are things that, that people with success stories focus on. And so this mindset shift allows people to do certain things. Mm -hmm. Shifting your mindset allows you to voice your opinions and be more authentic mm -hmm. with whoever, but especially your partner and especially your ex because then you are less focused on how do I craft this perfect response mm -hmm. and more focused on how do I get my point across? 
how can I get what I'm trying to say mm -hmm. to this person and get them to understand that? Mm -hmm. You're also allowed to set boundaries better. You know, if you're able to shift that focus back on yourself, you're able to figure out who you are, what your limits for any relationship are. Is that dark psychology? <laughs> no, that's, that's just clear psychology, oh. okay? <laughs> it's being direct. So what I want is what I need. <laughs> it's how to do it. Hmm. There's no manipulation there. Just letting them know. <laughs> and so, I don't like it. <laughs> you need the dark, I sneaky dark way. Dark psychology. <laughs> And so that's what this mindset shift allows you to do. It allows you to be more clear with people. What about if we do that video and it just Rick rolls everybody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Dark psychology. Tips. And they're like, son of a, he did it. <laughs> I click on it. Never going to give you up. <laughs> and then in the end, it's like, focus on personal growth. <laughs> It also allows you to be able to feel your emotions and to express them better and mm -hmm. to manage them better. You know, many of you are spiral spiraling right now in your mind. Mm -hmm. You have racing thoughts about your ex. You don't know how to manage all of these things because you're so focused on just getting them back. You're so yeah. focused on this person getting back into the relationship and saying, you are worthy. You are worthy of this relationship. I want to be connected to you. And that feels so good, mm -hmm. but there is so much more to life. You yeah. know, on a total side note, one thing that I've been seeing often on social media is the decentralizing men movement. Hmm. I don't know if you've heard of that. I don't think I've seen that. Tell me more. But it's basically about women. Dark psychology? It's not dark psychology. Yeah. But it's basically about women in particular choosing to prioritize other areas and things in their life mm -hmm. other than relationships. Mm -hmm. Because typically, women have been socialized, at least in the past, historically, that relationships are what saves them. You know, the man provides and mm -hmm. they, you know, exist to kind of help and take care of the home and those types of things. Uh -huh. So anyways, this movement of being able to decentralize men is to bring the focus more on different goals, particularly for women. Mm. Now, I think this applied to anybody can be helpful on some level. Yeah. Decentralizing relationships, going back to your own self-worth, I think is very, very, very important. So that's one thing, one perspective that can help. This is also a perspective that we see in those who tend to have more successes. Yeah. You really want to get to a place where you're okay with or without them. That is the healthiest place for all of us to be. Mm -hmm. You'd like to have it turn around. You'd like to have another opportunity with them. But you're okay if they don't want to be with you. And eventually, most of you will get there. Hopefully, all of you will get there. Mm -hmm. But some of you really struggle more than others. And again, that it goes back to your childhood. And as you really learn to process this stuff, you'll see that more clearly. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're always talking about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely want to see you all be in healthy and happy, satisfying relationships. Sometimes that does mean taking the focus off of certain things, being able to place them on others. I know it's much easier said than done. You have to think about what that looks like for your life personally. Mm -hmm. And so, one last thing that we want to leave you with that we see people with success stories have is spells that spell crafting witchcraft <laughs> yes they're <laughs> incredible at witchcraft they're able to cast spells on their ex the ex just like ella enchanted pops up and oh. does whatever they say no <laughs> I'm constantly deleting those things. Oh, gosh. No, we're kidding. Uh, the thing that we see consistently in many of these success stories is that ability to follow through is discipline. Mm -hmm. This one is so, so, so big is they have a plan and they followed that plan. Many of you, because of your anxiety, are looking for excuses to reach out to an ex. It's almost yeah. like... If you're ever on, I don't know, like a certain diet regimen and you're just thinking about all these different excuses as to why you can cheat on that mm -hmm. diet. Well, no, I did take a long walk today. No, or I, I did have a stressful day. I might as well treat myself. Yeah, <laughs> Whatever true. It might be. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's true. Sometimes you can treat yourself. But the point is, if you have a plan, you've got to stick with it if you want to see those results. And people with successes, people with success stories that end up able to get their ex back and have healthy, happy relationships again, they followed through with it. They said, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it. And they do it. Yeah. So you have to look at it this way. There's going to be the struggle that you have in no contact to stay disciplined. But then the struggle is going to be when your ex comes back. And a lot of people mess that up, right? So I don't really 
look at many of the statistics about getting your ex back because quite frankly, I don't think that a lot of that information incorporates strategies that actually work, mm -hmm. right? We have all these random people doing all these random things. Maybe some of them did 30 days no contact. Maybe no, some did no contact. Maybe some didn't reach out at all. So we don't really know and that's not really incorporated into the data. But what we see time and time again is when you follow the strategies and stick to them, they work. The stuff that we teach you, mm -hmm. we're always going to tell you the stuff that we would do in your situation when we're doing calls with you because we know, we see patterns, we see things over and over again. And you know, we just, we have that instinct for mm -hmm. it. One of the reasons that I picked Coach Victoria to do this is because even 10 years ago, I mean, it's got to be over 10 years ago now. Yeah, yeah. I could, I said to her, you have a really good BS detector. It was, <laughs> it was sniffer. so, I, and I, I could see she was one of the best at detecting BS, <laughs> right? For, for years ago, that was before any of the education and learning and talking about it mm -hmm. that we've had, but she had a natural instinct for it. And so that's why I thought, oh, you'll be really good at this. It's because I'm Italian and Puerto Rican. That's why <laughs> they're very loud. They'll tell you how it is. <laughs> yeah. There were very few people that I found mm. to be naturally good at breakups mm. in this world. And even, you know, quite honestly, a lot of the other coaches out there, not going to name names, but, you know, yeah. the stuff, it doesn't make a lot of sense, right? Mm. You hear a lot of those strategies and you see every week. The thing that confuses me is you hear all the time what you tell people to do these things. They don't work. Yeah. How many times do you do a call with somebody and they said, I did a call with coach so-and-so mm -hmm. and they said, do this or do that. And you're like, why would they recommend mm -hmm. that? You, you know, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So what I'm saying is you have to implement the skills when your ex comes back. In other words, here's a big one I see probably the most often your ex reaches out for the first time in five months and you do a couple text messages right away and then you do an hour phone call mm -hmm. and they lose their interest immediately. Mm -hmm. What do we tell you guys? When that happens, you do a few text messages and the goal is to see them in person, mm -hmm. to reattract them in person. But those little things make a huge difference. It's true, it's true. And you really have to think about the pacing here too. One of the biggest things we see with successes is patience. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things yes. is that people who have success stories, they're able to pace themselves. They might feel very excited. They also feel anxiety. They're also human, mm -hmm. right? But they have that ability to stick to that plan, know what they're going to do. It's kind of like if you're about to, I don't know, take a huge leap. You know, you got to see where your foot is going to land. You're going to see where you're going to place your weight. It's going to make it a lot easier to make this jump successfully. That's yep. how you kind of have to look at this too, is what am I going to do next? What am I more or less going to do in that type of situation? How can I stay balanced? How mm -hmm. can I stay centered? These are the types of things that will help you through those moments. If you don't hear us mm -hmm. make a recommendation in a video, I wouldn't do it. Okay. That, that's just the truth. Mm -hmm. If you haven't heard us, one of the three of us say to do this in a particular situation, don't do it. There's a reason because we're always telling you stuff that we see works versus stuff that we know is going to make things worse. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the fence and you're considering doing something, at least think to yourself, have I ever heard Coach Craig or Margaret or Victoria mm. say this in a video? Oh, I better not do that. Right, and we have <laughs> tons and tons of videos on various different mental health related things, relationship related things, breakup related things that can help you navigate your own situation. So of course we are here for coaching to help you one-on-one, -on -one, but if that's not something that's you know within your accessibility or you know what you're able to do, mm -hmm. we have tons of videos to, to help you out. Yes. This is not information that we want to gatekeep. This is information that we think everybody should know. Yep. So. We have close to 2000 videos. We have two channels. We are putting out as much information out there. We always put out information and videos that even we know won't get viewed many times, but we do it because we know there's going to be some people that that will mean a lot to them and will really help change their life. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't put out no contact videos over and over again, right. right? We're always looking for new ways to share information with you. And so you guys can implement stuff that really will change your life. Right, and if you have a success story, please remember to send it in. If you have had a personal success, it would be interesting to hear in the comments yeah. what traits helped you 
get to that success? You know, what traits have helped you along through this process? In no contact, in being able to go through that personal growth and, and really learn these skills. So it would be interesting conversation down below. I do share a lot of those in my Instagram, by the way. Mm -hmm. Right, you can sure. see, yeah. I do share yeah. like stories and, and highlights. There's a lot of mm -hmm. little highlights where I'll screenshot stuff from people. So you can see this stuff in there and you can always send me one through there, I'll, I'll share it. Uh, so, cause we like you guys to stay positive and to see that there is a lot more positive that can happen from your breakup than just this feeling of loss and dread, mm -hmm. right? right? All right. So hopefully this one's been helpful to you. And of course, if you want to get our help personally, you can do that on my website, askcraig.net. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Coach Victoria is also available for Skype coaching. I'm here whenever you'd like to chat. Just click on her name at the top of the website to schedule with her. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. And I'm Coach Victoria. And we will talk with you soon.